trying to okay so we're gonna try this again it said that it was it paused it so I'm gonna gonna see if this works I apologize for not um, doing more lives it's been kind of crazy but I, I figured I would hop on tonight just for a little bit not to make a craft or make gnomes but I wanted to show some of the storage um, ideas that I've got and some of the new stuff that I have um, I recently moved and I'm still going through all of my craft supplies and so I'm organizing like crazy and then of course we had family visits so I want to be able to spend time with them but I'm going to show you um, I had lots and lots of little items and sometimes I just stuck them in a container well then I'd have to fumble through if I wanted something at the bottom of that container and this is what I'm using now and I wanted to just show you guys uh, the storage idea. This, I want to say it's for like a garage for nuts and bolts and screws and stuff like that. But it works really great for the small items. It has all these little drawers and the drawers do come out. So you have it right at your fingertips and then it goes right back in there. I mean, it holds tons and tons I already had one and then my boyfriend gave me one of his and then I also um, have some of these silicone molds sometimes you can get them at the Dollar Tree um, you can get them at Walmart any of the craft supply stores but I like the ones that are not very deep because instead of using chocolates or anything or food or um, resin, I figure I would use just hot glue and then after it dries, I could paint it. And I also got one just recently, one with little feet. <clears throat> now I did use this little Sherbonder, um one that I use all the time. And I made some of the little, the little feet there. I figured these would look really cute in one of the bathtubs poking out of the bubbles. Or it would even work good on some of the other ones. So that's that. And then also I got a new glue gun. I haven't tried the Gorilla Glue, but I've been wanting to try it. It says that it does... Wood, metal, glass, plastic, floral, fabric, leather, foam, and more. And that one has two settings. So it has a low one for like if I'm using foam, it's not going to melt it. And that's something that I'm really looking forward to trying. So what I'm going to show you, when when I use the Sherbonder glue, that small, they're the small ones. This is what I came up with. It, it dries kind of like a white, and then I plan on painting them like a flesh color. But I wasn't sure with the Gorilla Glue, even though it looks kind of like a white, I wasn't sure if it would, when it dries, if it would look more yellow. So I figured I'm going to go ahead and make some of the leaves in this one mold here. And if any of the glue seeps out, you can always trim it off with, with a box cutter. So I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of these leaves, making sure I get all the little edges. And this is the first time that I'm using the Gorilla Glue and this gun. I end up getting it at Costco. And there was another lady in the in the aisle with me and my boyfriend. And uh, we ended up chatting about if we had used it before and what all it was used for. 
she ended up getting one too. So I figure I'll just do one row of these leaves and then I'll let them dry. And then I will see what color, if it, if it ends up looking more yellow or if it's more white like these here. And the Gorilla Glue Gun has just a little bit whiter tip and more glue comes out at a time. So I'm thinking with this one, it might fill the big feet um, a little bit quicker than the other one because the other one has a really narrow tip. So it took me a little bit to fill this bottom one with that small, with that small tip. So take that into consideration when you're doing the molds. With this deep, if you have to have quite a bit um, of glue, one of the bigger tipped glue guns might work just a little bit better because it'll spit out a little bit more. Where the one that's not as deep, the small one, it wouldn't take much and it would fill it right away. And then also, I wanted to show you a few little things. So I got this little wagon. I plan on putting a gnome in there and maybe even make it look like he's got a, a doll or a toy. And then also market is pretty much done for me for this year. So I'll have to just do stuff on here. Maybe even have some yard sales in the, in the spring. Um, or just if somebody's wanting to purchase something, just message me and we'll go from there. This does get hot on the bottom, just so you know. Not so much that I can't touch it, but I've noticed the Gorilla Glue looks like it's taking a little bit longer to uh, dry. Let me, I'm going to use the Sure Bonder and do one of these, and we'll compare how, how quickly. This one dries because last night when I did those feet, it did not take long at all for that to, to dry. I was able to pop it out. Not very, it wasn't very long at all. And I'm not really worried about it spitting up over the edge a little bit just because I use like a little knife and just trim off whatever I'm not wanting. And I am using the tip to kind of get it inside some of the crevices. All right, so I did one row with the Sure Bonder and one row with the Gorilla Glue. The Sure Bonder already looks like it's whitening up a little bit, and I just poured it in there. The Gorilla Glue it still feels a little tacky, and it's just now starting to whiten whiten up there, but I am able to pull out that very first one. So it's not, it's not yellow, so that's good too. This one actually feels like it's pretty good. I'm going to bring this up here. I don't know if you can see all the little details. That little leaf. <clears throat> yep, it's gotten to where I can... I can peel them out. It's just one of those little silicone molds. And see where there's a little bit little bit off off of the edge. You can pull that off or you can use I got this little knife this little uh blade at um Walmart. You can just use it. I'm also gonna 
use my readers here so I can see up close. But you just use that tip and just trim off that little extra. There we go. There's a little bit on this side here. And then once you have all of that extra stuff um, trimmed off that you're not wanting on there, then you would just paint it and then glue it, glue it to your, to your project. So let's see here. So all of those work really well. I also have one that is seashells. And it's a really nice way to get accessories if you don't have quite a bit. I mean, I do have quite a bit in here. I've used buttons. Matter of fact, I have some seashell buttons. But if I if I didn't want to go out and purchase this, I've ar I already have my glue. And so I could just use my silicone mold for my seashells pour, pour the glue in there and then just paint it that way I wouldn't have to go out special and buy those buttons hi Steph all right so the sure bonder one it's it's done as well so here they are side to side side by side they look the same but they're the different glue. The one is the Gorilla Glue, and then the other one is that Sure Bonder. All that I would end up doing is trim them up, paint them, and then put them on my project. Very easy, easy stuff. I did this with my Beehive Gnomes, where I wanted honeycomb. I used my hot pad. I'll show you that, too. I think I had shown it during one other video, but I have this hot pad and it has these little grooves in there. And my granddaughter, when I was doing those beehive gnomes, she said, you should put some glue in there. And then once it dries, just paint it and it'll look just like honeycomb. Genius kid. I don't know why I didn't think of it, but she did. And that's, that's what I did for those projects, and they turned out pretty sweet. But I have to give her, the, her all that credit because it was her idea. And when you use the hot glue with this, they come out so perfect. It does not stick to your, to your molds. The mold does get a little warm, so be careful when you handle on the bottom. Um, this one here is a little bit thicker. So, and I bought it off of Amazon just because I wanted to use the feet for, um, for some of the bathtubs to where his feet could poke out. And it has two different sizes, so I thought that was pretty sweet. Um, also, I ended up getting, I wanted to show you guys all my new little gadgets to help. So I end up getting this little itty bitty um, sewing machine. It doesn't take up much room. It was only like 20, maybe $25 at Walmart. Plus I have my discount card since I work there. And I had to mend some jeans. Well, it doesn't work well on jeans, but this works amazing on felt. So I can use this in order to do gnome hats, or bodies or whatever um, just a little itty bitty it has the it already came with all of that's that you see here it it also came with batteries so it was all ready to use the only the only thing that I really do not care about this here is there's an on and off button one speed you cannot slow it down once you turn it on it's going and then shut it off. 
Now it does have this little button or this little uh, knob down here to where when it's off, you can manually move that. And then it'll move this up and down as you're going. So when I first saw it, I went, there's no reverse. How in the world am I going to backstitch? What you do is you turn it on for a little bit, shut it off, and then you backstitch manually. That's the only thing you can do with it. Beggars can't be choosy when, when you're wanting just a small, quick thing with a small, small space. It just stores, you know, off to the side or in a drawer. So I'll just set that there. And those little, I don't know what, I don't know what they're called. Those cubbies, I guess is how I would word it. The garage cubbies for like the screws, nuts, and bolts. That is genius for whoever invented those. Um, it's not just for nuts and bolts. It's for crafts. I have all my mushrooms in one. I have all of my little glasses that I use for gnomes. All that's in one. Um, corks. And then the, uh, those tips to the mops, I have those in there. Buttons, I have buttons and spoons, and I even have my pencil sharpener in one of them. And one, I also put my little box cutters or um, exacto knives. Um, I've got string in one, little, little, uh, little bottles. There's, there's no wrong thing to put in there unless it's just too big. You know, it's good for all of your small items. Um, the one I got from my grandma, it has three big drawers in the center. So what I did with it was the big drawer has all of my bigger shells and then it also one of them has like my wood cutouts but all the small drawers has all of my small stuff works amazing and it organizes it so it's not just for the garage and I did not want to get rid of all of my little stuff you know, all my little accessories. So I'm glad I'm able to keep them and it's not going to take up a lot of room and I'm not going to need like a container where I have to dig and sift through. It's all organized in those little itty bitty drawers. Um, what else did I get that I was going to show you? Um, I don't know if I had shown you guys. I got three different size hole punches. And those I ended up getting for um, my tags. I got them off of Facebook, but they like punch holes really, really um, easily. And I also ended up getting um, new scissors. It's always good to use a good pair of scissors when, when you're crafting. That way you're not over... You know, that way you're not having to try doing it over and over and over. Saves on time. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, also I have a big jar of Mod, Mod Podge. Well, it just has this great big opening. And I kept thinking, how in the world and what can I put this in to where I can pour it and control it a little bit better? So, I want to say, where were we? We were at Hobby Lobby or somewhere. I can't remember where all I got it. But there's this container here. It's for pouring pancake batter. <laughs> so, what you do is you put your hod hodgepodge in there. And then you just pour it out of the little spout. And you have more control of where it goes. Now I had an idea of making these little glass bottles. 
that looked like it had some sand from a beach and then put some seashells in there and some little moss and then a little gnome in it. But I kept thinking, well, how would I glue any of that down? Because the sand is is going to just move all over and then everything's going to fall in between. So then I started thinking, I wonder if I mixed a little bit of Mod Podge in with that sand and then put it in that jar, let it dry, and then put that stuff in there. Of course, the lip of my bottle was small and it was a fail. I need one with a little bigger, um, a bigger opening or I need to have longer tweezers and I also have to let it dry longer. So that one I will try again. Um, it's just right now I don't have time. <laughs> um, but, oh, another thing I thought, I ended up going to our little Dutchman store and they had these little keychains. And it has this flashlight. I thought, oh my goodness, that would work amazing for a gnome. The thing I don't like about this one is I wish when you push this down, it stayed on. And then I wish you could push it again in order to shut it off. In order to use it, you have to hold it at all times. Otherwise, when you let go, it shuts off. That's the only thing I don't like about it. But I would take the keychain off and I would put this in the hand of a gnome. So that's my plans for that. Um, let's see. I know this next month um, I'm going to be on vacation for a little while, but I do plan on trying to get some more um, crafting done. And I will definitely post pictures. Um, what else? I did do one of these. I still have to do the gnome to attach with it. But this is just a little metal piece, the metal cutout that I got at the Dollar Tree. And this was a little stool in the doll section at the Dollar Tree. It did not have a back on it. So what I did was I took, they have cork board, and I traced the back onto that cork board. Well, one side of the cork board is sticker, and I thought, I want it to look like it's white, like the front. So I took that that uh it the backing off and i put some felt white felt on where that sticky part was and then i glued that cork part to the little stool and then when you open it up you see that little bit of cork and that way it's not just open on the back side but it looks just like a little a little bathroom stool and then of course my cone will fit on there I have to work on him yet and then of course his feet and he'll have arms and he'll look really cute they were the ones that I made were went over really well a plumber ended up buying one of them but it was a porcelain a porcelain one this one and it didn't have a lid, so I planned on putting candies in it. I thought it would look really cute with Hershey Kisses. It's kind of corny, and it, it takes a special person um, to, to purchase it. Uh, but some people love them. And that'll be one of my next projects to, to finish. Um... I'm wanting to get uh, quite a bit finished for next spring. That way, um, when they have citywide yard sales, I want to be able to have a lot more um, variety and everything like that. But I'm not planning on staying on too long. I just wanted to show you guys some of the new things that I got and some of the ideas. I thought if I could help any of you guys uh, with storage or whatever else, um, accessories, and who would have thought pancake mix pourer, that would work really good for, um, it would also work really good for paint, 
or I use it for my Mod Podge. And then these molds work amazing for accessories. And it's this is just glue. You don't like how it how it looks or works, you can always put it like in a little um, fondue pot and melt it down. Um, some people use, um, oh, what do they call those? Electric, electric skillets, and they melt it back down. Or you can put it on something and use a heat gun. A heat gun will melt it. But I like how they turn out. And then also to do is you paint them and then glue them to your project. Very easy, simple, and the mold, you can reuse it so it pays for itself. Um, I get a lot of mine off of Amazon. I'm kind of addicted to that store. Um, and if you guys have any questions, go ahead and message me. If I don't get a hold of you right away, don't fret because I, I get back to everybody. Um, and I will keep you posted too on how this Gorilla Glue gun works. Right now I'm using it on the high setting and it spits it out really nice. When it's on the low setting I haven't haven't tried to see if it if it doesn't come out as easy but I will keep you posted on that as well. <clears throat> Then I think I'm gonna log off for now. If I think of anything else, I will I will post it. Um, and if any of you guys have questions, like I said, just let me know. And I will hopefully do another live after I'm done with my vacation, um, or maybe I'll even try doing one before then. Just kind of depends. Um, but I will I will keep you in touch. I'm getting closer and closer to getting all my stuff organized and, and gone through. So thank you guys for logging in and visiting with me. And then I will talk to you later. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week and the weekend. And I will talk to you then. Bye.